SCNT is, stands literally for somatic cell nuclear transfer. So conceptually straightforward, the method itself is very difficult. You simply take an egg and an oocyte and you remove the nucleus and then uh, you, you do this for a number of different eggs. You isolate nuclei from adult cells and then you transfer those nuclei back into the oocyte. Whatever is in the oocyte, the factors in the oocyte somehow induce this adult nucleus to uh, open up its potential again. So following transfer of the nucleus into the oocyte, we allow it to develop for a few days, in the mouse three days, and in the human five days. And at that point, we put it in a culture dish and we uh, derive the embryonic stem cells. However, it's certainly been much more difficult in human, technically, to do the SCNT process, and it hasn't been successful yet. It recently was successful in the rhesus monkey, a uh, more closely related species to human than mouse, of course. Yeah, so I got involved in SNT uh, as a postdoctoral fellow. And what really got me excited about the method is it was a really new and novel way to study both biology and disease. It allowed one to take the fully differentiated cell and de-differentiated embryonic cell. And that allows you to ask many really critical questions. What happens when you go from a de-differentiation early embryonic cell to a full adult cell? By going in reverse, we can undo that process and redo that process and really understand the process with the hope that eventually down the road we'll be able to repeat that process in a culture dish, turn embryonic stem cells into adult tissue, of course, which is one of the major promises of regenerative medicine. So a hope with SCNT and other methods of reprogramming is we'll produce an embryonic stem cell that's completely a match to that patient genetically. And then these ESLs have the potential to produce every cell in the body. So as we learn to tap into that potential, differentiate in any cell we want and transplant it back in the patient, we should be able to do the same, it will be the same concept of current day transplants, but now with cells matched to that patient. So I think from a standpoint of regenerating damaged tissue, there's real promise, real great promise here. I've been doing biology for about 15 years, and there's no question that the speed of the field in the last five years is just tremendous when you compare it to any field in science. I mean, it's just been a very rapid progress, and it's just the fact we could do it was shocking. And then that leads to the progression of science. So I think the goal with SNT has always been to figure out what about SNT, what about this uh, technique allow the cells to de-differentiate. And once we know how to do that, then I certainly think we'll move into actually doing directly manipulating the cells and bypassing SCNT altogether. Uh, I don't think we're there yet, but we're certainly getting much, much closer and very quickly.